brought to you in living color on NBC. Golfers, presented by Reynolds Aluminum, producer of aluminum for building products, for transportation, for packaging, and Reynolds Wrap, the original household foil. Reynolds, where new ideas take shape in aluminum. Hello there. I'm Jimmy DeMerit. Welcome again to All-Star Golf, the original top television golf show that each week brings you the world's greatest golfers. It's very overcast and hazy here today. We're playing the Spring Mill course at the Philadelphia Country Club in Gladwin, Pennsylvania, about 30 miles from Philadelphia. This course is over 40 years old, and the plush rolling fairways, heavily wooded rough, many traps, and difficult greens present a real challenge to any golfer. We have two fine golfers on this challenging golf course, the Philadelphia Country Club. First, from the Greenbrier at White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, a man who's won more tournaments than any other living golfer, Sam Sneed. How's everything done, Sam? Sam, you look wonderful, really. You've been taking care of yourself, huh? Yes, I just went on a little, uh... Well, a little died. So far, it hasn't worked. No, I see. <laughs> <laughs> but you, <laughs> you're doing all right, too, Jim. Yeah, I know you heard about that $4,000 triple uh, birdie bonus, didn't you? I'm, I'm anxious to get at that. I bet you are. Yes. Sam, you're playing well, huh? Am I playing well? We'll soon find out, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> well, you remember this golf course. I know that, don't you? Uh, let's don't mention that. You mean the eight? <laughs> when was that, Sam? Oh, that was back so far, so long ago. Jimmy, I don't even recognize the place. I'm glad of it. That was, that was in 39. 1939. I remember that. I was a time. kid. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sam, uh, your opponent this week, a young man who's uh, really come along very fast. He's won his share of events, and he's a smooth, swinging, long-hitting player from Belleville, Illinois, Bob Goldby. <laughs> Sam, how are you doing? You've seen this old cat before, haven't you? Well, I don't like to see him, but he's <laughs> a good friend of mine. Bob, have uh, you played the Philadelphia Country Club before? Uh, well, yes, I have. Not in 39, though. Oh, no, not in 1939, <laughs> no. Didn't even have a set of clubs then. Well, fine. want to wish uh, you the best of luck, both of you. And All-Star Golf has played 18 holes, medal play, under the rules of the USGA. To the winner goes a check for $2,000 and to the loser, $1,000. In addition, All-Star Golf pays $500 for all eagles and for a hole-in-one, $10,000. Our triple birdie bonus has now increased to $4,000. Any golfer that makes three birdies in a row gets an additional $4,000. We'll see you on the first tee in just a moment. We're on the first tee at the Philadelphia Country Club just outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Number one is a short dog leg to the left. It's beautifully trapped on the fairway, both the left and right side. Traps around this very small green. It's 328 yards long. Sam Sneed has the honor. This match between Sam Sneed and Bob Goldby should be a good one. Bob Goldby is one of the youngsters on the tour, and Sneed, one of the truly great veterans of golf, is the slammer. Beautiful, long, flowing backswing. Hits it just perfect down the right side. It's going to land in the right side of the fairway and stop there. Fine position. This screen angles off to the left. It's a small one, too. And from Belleville, Illinois, fine young golfer, Bob Goldby. Bob can really belt that ball out there, too. Plays that ball well on the left foot. He hits it on the same line. Beautiful shot. Same line. It's going to land in the right side of the fairway and stops out there pretty close to Sneed's. You'll see some long tee shots with Goldby and Sneed today. On this first hole, Sneed belted down the right side 260 yards. Goldby on the same line went through the fairway 270 yards, about a foot in the rough. 
Although Goldie outdrove Sam about 10 yards here, Sam is a few feet closer to the green. This is sharp, dog leg to the left. Goldie's using a pitching wedge, has a good lie in the rough. Use about a half, three quarter swing. Throws it up toward the green. It's going to land on the front side of the green. Takes a nice bounce. Beautiful bounce. That kick straight left. Nice break for Bob. It hit out short and to the right and kicked straight left and stopped about pin high. Here's the slammer out there with a wedge. Sam has a good swing. He lost it nice up toward the flag. It's going to land just about right. It kicks up toward Goldie's ball and Sam is about two or three feet farther away from the flag. Both boys on number one putting for birdie threes. Goldby's wedge shot out of the short rough to the right, stopped about six feet from the hole, putting for a birdie three. Sneed almost on the same line, eight feet away. Triple birdie uh, jackpot has increased to $4,000. Any golfer that makes three birdies in a row gets $4,000 from All-Star Golf. Both these players have nice putts for birdies here on number one, Sam Sneed. Long, illustrious career as a professional golfer over his ball, straight uphill. It's at firm, it's to the right. Sam had a straight putt. He played it out apparently on the right and it stayed out there. Sam got this par four. Goldby has a six footer, same line. Uphill, straight. Goldby's a good putter. Lost the PGA by one stroke to South African Gary Player. Right here in Philadelphia. Puts it up toward the hole, it's in the center. <laughs> Through the first hole, it's Sneed even par four. Goldby one under three. We're on the second hole at the Philadelphia Country Club. Another relatively short four par, 363 yards. Up the hill, slight dog leg to the right, traps on the left, right, and traps around the green. Golby has the honor. Golby kind of half shanks it off the tee. He could be in trouble. Ooh, he came off of that one very fast. He half topped it, sliced it off out to the right in the rough. Might have caught the sand trap. If not, he's way off down in the woods. Sam Sneed. Just an eight foot of the first hole for his birdie. Ooh, that's a beauty. That's perfect. Sam is right in the center. Goldby off to the right in the rough. Goldby healed his tee shot. It slid out to the right into the rough 220 yards. Sneed drove down the center 250. Bob Goldby in the rough has a good lie using a 9-9 for a second. The pin is on the back side, the second hole. He starts it way out to the right. It's hooking back just a little. It's going to land. Let's see which way it kicks. Runs toward the back of the green, trickles over in the fringe about three feet over the green, off to the right of the flag. Sam Sneed, he's going to use a 9-iron. He'll have to really ease up on this, not very far from the green. Hits the ball, then the turf throws it high into the air. It's going to be just about right. It's going to land right straight at the flag. Will it run enough? The hit on the embankment the soft green. Stopped very fast. <coughs> Sam uh, has a long putt left. Goldby just over. Sneed on the green just short with a 9-iron. He has an 18-footer. Goldby over in the fringe, 22 feet away. Bob Goldby's second shot out of the rough flew on him just a bit. It landed on the green, had no spin at all. It kept rolling and trickled over in the frog hair or fringe, about two feet off of the clip portion of the green. Bob really is gripping way down on that club. He's using a nine iron, playing it right off his right foot. He has this tall rough just back of his ball. He'll have to come straight down on it. He hits it just about right. It's going to be very good, right straight at the hole. Beautiful chip, almost hold it. Good speed, ran past about two feet. Bob, for a big boy, has a, a lot of finesse around the scoring area. Here's Slamming Sam. 
Sam has uh, curling puck to the right, 18 feet out. Hits it off to the right, stays out there. Stays out there. Sam missed both putts on the right side. He's going to putt out. He got it. Sam hard the second hole. Goldby has a two-footer to keep this one-stroke lead. Birdied the first hole. Chip back two feet. He has a very open stance on his putting. Gosh, he's way around there. Playing it off the left hole. Hits it in the center. Got his par. Through the second hole, it's Sneed, even par eight. Goldby, one under seven. On the 535-yard par five third hole, Goldby drove 290 yards in the right rough. Then Sneed split the center 280 yards. Sneed hit a three-wood 50 yards from the flag in the fairway. Then Goldby used a four-wood and caught the trap on the left 65 yards from the pin. Goldby pitched out of the trap with a nine-iron onto the green about 50 feet short of the pin. Sneed hit his wedge nine feet short to the right. Goldby two-putted for a par five and a total of 12 strokes. Then Sam also two-putted, got his par and 13 strokes. And then on the 454-yard par four fourth hole, Goldby drove 260 yards down the left side. Sneed drove 260 yards down the right side. Goldby's four iron stopped short of the green, 85 feet from the pin. Sneed hit a two iron past the pin in line about 22 feet away. Goldby lies two in the fairway. Sneed also two on the green. Bob Goldby is uh, going to use his nine iron. He has a lot of green to pitch to. He's about six or eight yards short of the green. A long 85 foot chip. Ooh, he kind of blades that a little bit, but it's going up pretty good. It looks awfully good. It looks awfully good. just about right, almost hold it from 85 feet. It stopped just back of the cup. Tapped it in, got his par four. Some chip. Oh, Bob is smiling about that one. He enjoyed it. Sam Sneed has a 22 foot putt down the hill. He is about ready. He missed the first three putts on the same line on the right side. That's going to be in the hole. Wow, what a putt. Long, curly, 22-foot downhill putt. Sam rammed it in the left side of the cup, got his birdie. This match is all even. Through four holes, both players are one under par, 16 strokes. Number five is a beautiful three par, 169 yards. There's a small lake out in front of the green and a brook off to the right. There are two traps on the left side, surrounded by trees and a trap in the back. It's a beautiful golf hole here. Green sits down in a little valley. Small stream winding around to the right side of it. The uh, tee is about uh, 30 or 40, 50 feet up above the green. Sneed uh, hits it off toward the left side of the green. It's going to land on the left side. Has a very, very long putt for his birdie. This cup is cut only about 10 feet off the right side of the green. It's a difficult shot to try to get close. I don't think any player in his right mind would shoot at that flag today because there's a water hazard off to the right, and that would be a double bogey five for sure. I'm sure Bob will shoot at the center of the green. Bob does. It's going right at the flag. What a shot. Wow. <laughs> what a shot. I said no golfer in his right mind would shoot at that. Maybe Bob's not in his right mind. That was a beautiful shot. Bob Goldby had a beautiful shot that stopped two and a half feet away. Sneed shot with a six iron on the left back part of the green with a long 50-footer. Here's Sam Sneed.
Pam hits a good approach putt. It's going down toward the hole. Now it's slowing up just a little. Sneed pulled up just a little short. It's still outside of Goldby. He may be about four or five feet short putting for his par. This match is even. Both players one under. Better get up. Ooh. Sam seemed to catch that short putt right on the toe. He three putted from 50 feet. Got a bogey four. Goldby could pick up two strokes here. I made mention when Goldby was up on the tee that no golf in his right mind would shoot at that flag. No announcer in his right mind would make such a statement. <laughs> Bob's putt uh, should break a little to his left. I believe he'll play the inside right lip of the cup. He's a firm putter. He got it. I've got his two. <laughs> Through the fifth hole, it's Sam Sneed, even par 20. Goldby leading by two strokes. He is now two under par 18. On the 505-yard par 5 sixth hole, Goldby drove 260 yards down the center. Sneed drove 260 down the left side. Sneed's three wood stopped short of the green, about 80 feet from the flag. Goldby hit a four wood short of the green, about 120 feet from the pin. Goldby wedged just short, five feet away. Sneed also wedged five feet short. Both are on the green in three, putting for birdies. Goldby is about an inch or so outside. He's putting for his second straight birdie. This will be the second leg on the triple birdie jackpot that is now built up to $4,000. This is a big key putt for Bob. Colby's putting straight uphill, about a six footer. He's going to get it right in the center. That's two birdies in a row for Colby. He only has one to go to pick up the 4,000 extra dollars. Here's Sneed. Same putt. Oh, Sneed pushed it off to the right again. Sneed missed his short putt. Got a par five. Through six holes, it's Sam Sneed, 25. Goldby is now three under par, 22. We're on the seventh hole at the Philadelphia Country Club. This is a long three par, well trapped on the, both sides. It's 206 yards. He's back on the tee with a two iron is Bob Goldby. This is a big shot for him. I know he'd like to get it up fairly close there and have a crack at that $4,000 jackpot for the three birdies in a row. He's way off to the right. It's hooking back. It may catch the right part of the green. It's hooking back and it hits way off to the right side. It's at least 60 feet away. Here's Sam Sneed. Sam's having his troubles on the short putts. Sam hooks it off to the left. It's coming way off to the left. It's going to carry over the trap. It does carry over the trap to the rough on the left side. He has a trap between himself and the green. Goldby's on the right front part of the green, 60 feet from the flag. Sneed off to the left in the rough, 65 feet away. Sam's got a pitching wedge, pitching uphill. Has a good lie in the rough. He's usually very good at this shot. It's going to be good here, too. It's going to be a fine shot. Beautiful. Hi, nice Sam, for that fine shot out of the rough with a pitching wedge. Sneed stopped it the distance he hates, about four feet. He's missed two in a row. He three putted a three par. Then he missed a short putt for birdie on the last hole. Same distance. Bob Goldby has a 60 footer for three birdies in a row. The jackpot is now up to $4,000. If Bobby holds this one, he gets an additional 4000 from All Star Golf. I know he will be up. I'll almost bet on that. He's leading three strokes. He can take a chance. Well, I misjudged it again. He's way short. Didn't give it a chance. I thought for sure that he would really bang that ball up to the cup. 
And I know Bob was not trying to leave it short. He had nothing to lose by getting in there. He's leading by three strokes. $4,000 jackpot. It's hard to make three birdies in a row. He had the leg on the first two birdies. Sneed putting for his par uphill. About a five-footer. Ooh, oh, he just creeped in that hole. That's a good par there for Sam. Goldby now has about a five-footer himself for his par. All the gallery was pulling for Bob right there to wrap that one in. Very open stance on his putt. He knocked it in, got his par. Through seven holes, Sneed, 28. Goldby, three under par, 25. We're on the eighth hole at the Philadelphia Country Club. Number eight is 388, par four. Straight uphill tee shot, traps on the left, traps on the right. There's an out of bounds way off to the left, but I don't think Goldby and Sneed are bothering about that too much. Player can profit quite a bit here if he can just shoot over this left sand trap and shorten this dog leg. Not a long hole, 388. Hits one low along the ground. It's going to be in the center of the fairway. It may kick to the right. Could catch that trap. It's kicking way off to the right. And he rolls around the trap and may be in the edge of the rough. Here's the slammer, Sam Sneed. Represents Boca Raton in the winter and the Greenbrier, White Sulphur Springs in the summer. Sam hits one way off to the right. Will it carry that trap? It's going up over the gallery's head, over the trap, lands in the rough, and uh, Sam is off to the right in the rough, and Goldby in the edge. Goldby hit his tee shot out to the right. It bounced on the edge of the fairway in the rough, stayed in the fairway, 260 on the right-hand side. Sneed in the rough to the right, 260. Bob Goldby out in the fairway, and the pin is over the sand trap on the right and the right side of the screen. He has a lot of room to stop the ball. Bob hits it up toward the green. It's going to land on the front side, takes one bounce, and stops very fast. He hit on the down slope and didn't move. That was Bob Goldby. Sam Sneed out in the rough to the right, preparing to play his second shot. Sam throws it right at the flag. It may be a little bit strong. It's going to land up in the back side of the green, but stops almost immediately. Gosh, that hit soft. Way up high in the air, out of the rough, and didn't roll a foot. Sneed just past the hole to the right, 18 feet. Golby on the front side with a 25-footer. Bob Golby is three under par, first seven holes. His putt will definitely break to the right. Bob reads a green very well. Reading a green means that he figures the contour and the speed and the grain very well. That's important to a good putter. It's going to be very good, too. It's in. Sam Sneed, he has an 18-footer, par a three. Sam hits it up toward the hole. It's going to be off to the right. He hit it firm and didn't take the break as he anticipated to stop just back of the hole. And Sam will get his par four. <laughs> Through the first eight holes, it's Sam Sneed, 32. Bob Goldby, 28 strokes. On the ninth, the par four, 421 yards. Goldby drove down the left side 290 yards. Sneed drove down the left side 250 yards. Sneed's seven iron stopped on the apron of the green about 22 feet past the pin. Goldby used a wedge to the green, and he has about a 20-foot putt left for his birdie. Sam is nestled down in the grass here. He's going to use his putter. He was. He's going to change now. Goes to a seven iron. Sam's going to chip this out with a seven iron. He's nestled down in there pretty deep for a putter. Hits it up toward the hole. It's going to be very good if it's up. Got a good line. It pulled up very fast. He stopped it just short, about a foot. 
left hand puts out. Got his par four. Goldby, four under par. The first eight holes. He's putting for five under. Headed for a new course record. The competitive course record here is 66 by the late Clayton Hefner, 1939 U.S. Open. Goldby has a uphill putt with a break to the left. It's going to be very good. It has a chance to go. What a putt! He's got two birdies in a row again. He's had four birdies the last five holes. Scores through the first nine holes. Sam Sneed, even par, 36. With a five under par, 31, Bob Goldby. Sam, what did you uh, think of that first nine holes? This boy was a little hot, wasn't he? Well, all I could see, uh, Jim was bending over, picking it out of the hole. <laughs> He's pretty good at that, isn't he? That's marvelous. I, I tell you, if I can't do it, I'd like to see somebody that can. Well, Sam, you've held your share of. You well, know actually, that. I hate all good putters. <laughs> well, you've been a good putter for a long time, Sam, and yeah. we'll see you on the 10th tee after a while. All right, Jim. Okay. Bob, uh, you missed that triple birdie bonus there on number seven. You birdied uh, five and six, and you had that long putt and left it short. Since we're talking about putting, and I think, uh, seriously, you meet the ball as about as solid as anyone else, and you have a little different style of putting. Uh, I've uh, no noted a few times today that you have a very open stance, similar to most most fellows chipping the ball. Would you explain why you do it and give us an idea on your putting uh, stance? Well, what you're explaining there, I guess, Jimmy, is that I stand with a little closed stance with my feet, but my hips are open. In yeah. other words, I'm open to the target, and I set the ball out a little bit forward of my stance, and I feel like I'm under the shot and behind it. In other words, I pick out my line a little easier by this method. In fact, I've only started this for the last month and a half, and it has helped my putting quite a bit, which <laughs> you saw this morning. You're going to stick with it, aren't you? For a while, anyway. Well, fine, <laughs> Bob. And we'll see you on the 10th tee in just a moment. We're on the 10th hole at the Philadelphia Country Club, just outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Number 10 is a long four par winding up the hill. to a series of traps on the right side of the fairway and traps around the green. Here's Bob. Oh, he belted a big tee shot right over the top of that tree. It's sliding back toward the center of the fairway. Lands out in the rough, and uh, he's just in the edge. Here's Sam Snead. There's a fine shot right down the middle. Sam really belted that one. Bob Goldby hit a big high tee shot here. It landed out into the rough and kicked back out in the fairway, about a foot in the fairway, 310 yards. Sam Sneed drove down the center, 275. Sam Sneed preparing to play his second shot to this 10th hole. The cup is on the left part of the green. Sam throws it high toward the center of the green. It's not hooking at all. It's going to land on the front part of the green and comes to an abrupt halt. Sam has a very long putt left. Bob Goldby on his third leg of the triple birdie bonus. Using a nine iron for a second shot. He nips it about right. It's shoving way off to the right. It lands out in the center of the green and stops and Bob has a very long putt for his third birdie in a row. Bob Goldby, almost pin high to the right, has a long 30-foot putt for his birdie. Sneed on the front side, 60 feet away. Sam has a very long approach putt here. A tough one, too. Has about three rolls between the uh, cup and the ball. Sam's up this time, though. It's going to be a good one. What a putt. He almost hold that. Good speed, stopped just past the hole, 60 feet away, ran down that hill about 18 inches past. I think he's going to put it out. Yes, he's having the flag removed. Sam's even par. Sam got it. Here's a big putt for Bob Goldby again. On the seventh hole, he birdied 
five, six, had a chance for three straight birdies on seven, missed, and birdied eight, nine. Here he is again with a chance to pick up the bonus. The jackpot has now reached $4,000. This is a $4,000 putt for Bob Goldby. It's a long one. It's 30 feet away. He's about ready. He's over it. He hits it. It's firm enough. It's a good putt. It's going down that hill. It has a chance to go in. It's in. Hey! <laughs> Bob Goldby, you saw it. <laughs> what a putt. 30 feet, way down over the hill. It ran down that hill. It kept crawling and crawling and crawling, and it fell in the hole for a birdie three. The scores through the first 10 holes, Sam Sneed, even par, 40, and Bob Goldby, six under par, 34. Boy, how about that, Jimmy? Bob, that's some putting. Beautiful. Uh, did you think that putt was going to get there? No, it there? looked like it was going to hang on. The, uh, as it just went over that little knob, it looked like it was going to slow down and stop short of the hole, and I was kind of disgusted with myself for leaving it short, and it just kept going, and I sort of flabbergasted it. That's uh, twice uh, within uh, the last five holes that you've had a chance for that $4,000 jackpot. That's right, and this time I was very, very lucky to make that putt. I was really fortunate, and now I'm real happy about it. Wonderful, Bob. Good luck to you. Thank you, Jim. We're on the 11th hole at the Philadelphia Country Club. Number 11 is a long three-par, 191 yards. There are traps all around the green. The tee is separated by a valley to the green with a running stream down through the center of the fairway. Bob Goldby is about ready. He's going to use a five iron. Remember, All-Star Golf also pays $10,000 for a hole-in-one, and the way Goldby's going, anything can happen. He starts it right straight at the flag. It's hooking just a little bit. It's going to be a beautiful shot if it's up. It lands short, runs toward the flag, and stops. Almost immediately. This boy is certainly hot. He's red hot with that putter. I've never seen such putting. He's made five birdies the last six holes. Sam Sneed, even par, finds himself back six strokes coming to the 11th hole. Sam is using a five iron. I'm standing just back of the green, and Sam nips it right straight at the hole. He really hit that one good. It's going to land just about uh, pin high, jumps up one time, and stops there. Sneed is off to the right about pin high. Goldby in line with the flag all the way short. Bob Goldby stopped just short, in line with the flag all the way, 14 feet out. Sneed on the right, 22 feet. Sam Sneed, the colorful hillbilly from West Virginia. Sam has a 22-foot breaking putt to the left. This looks good. Is it up? No, it's short. Sam left it short. He's going to tap it in. He got it, straddled uh, Goldie's line so that he would not affect the line of putt. Bob Goldby is putting for his fourth birdie in a row. Incidentally, he holds the all-time PGA record in competition. He made eight birdies in a row in the St. Petersburg Open. Let's watch him. He's going for four right now. Straight uphill. Hits it up toward the hole. It's in. Look at this. Can you believe it? That is four birdies in a row for Bob Goldby. He is now seven under par. Through 11 holes, it's Sneed, even par 43. Goldby, seven under par, 36. On the 510-yard par 5 12th hole, Goldby drove 270 yards in the fairway. Sneed matched it 270 yards. Sneed hit a three-wood to the right of the green in the rough, about 110 feet from the pin. Goldby hit a four-wood into the left rough, short of the green, 75 feet from the pin. Sneed wedged 15 feet past the pin, and Goldie's wedge stopped on the left side, eight feet away. Both are on in three, putting for birdie fours. Sam Sneed is out. He has about a 15 or 18 foot putt straight uphill. Looks good. always been a good long putter. He's uh, been bothered throughout his long professional career with the shorter ones, but he's always been a good long putter. 
Here's Bob Goldby going for five birdies in a row. And uh, he has about a seven or eight foot putt. He's about ready. He's going for uh, five straight birdies. It's off to the left. Bob pulled that seven footer of his just a little off to the left. He's uh, ready. He taps it in, gets his par. And scores through the first 12 holes are Sam Sneed, one under par 47. Bob Golby is seven under par 41. Jim, Sam? I don't believe he's playing the same course I'm on. <laughs> Sam, uh, have you ever seen his putting that boy's putting on? Oh, I tell you, he's real throwing the blade at me. <laughs> he's always been a very good uh, uh, sound hitter of the ball, don't you think, well, on the green? Bob is very strong. He's got a lot of determination, and also, you know, he's got that youth with him. That, those and, old nerves are nice, yeah, aren't they? Being strong, and those nerves don't bother him. He goes to bed and doesn't have any trouble sleeping. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. <laughs> Sam, best of luck I to you. I can remember when, Jim. <laughs> All right, Sam. On the 350-yard par four 13th hole, Sneed drove down the middle 230 yards. Golby's drive caught the trap on the left 240 yards out. Sneed used an 8-iron and stopped on the apron about 40 feet from the pin. Golby hit a 9-iron on the green 45 feet from the flag. Golby two-putted for a par and 45 strokes. And Sneed pitched up with a seven iron, made his putt for a par and 51 strokes. And then on the 431 yard par four 14th hole, Sneed drove down the middle 260 yards. Golby drove into the left rough 280 yards. Sneed hit the green with a seven iron, 35 feet short of the pin. Golby used a nine iron and stopped eight feet to the right of the pin with a good chance for another birdie. Sam Sneed has another long approach putt. He hasn't been putting those irons in very close today. Long putts. They're hard to make. It's firm enough. Well past. Just over the right side, and he ran it past about three feet. Sam was going uphill, and he's down six strokes trying to pick up a shot on Bob there. Boy, you'll really have to do something to pick up a stroke on goal, but today he's putting beautifully and playing well. Sam is about ready. He's going to putt out. <laughs> Got it. Sneed Pard, he's Still one under. Colby has an eight footer here. Just a little break to his left. If he makes this, he is eight under par. Is it in? Oh, I think broke fast. He got an awful lot of that lower lip there. Bob put it out, made his short putt for par four. Through 14 holes, it's 55 strokes for Sneed, 49 for Golby. We're on the 15th hole at the Philadelphia Country Club, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Number 15 is the longest three par on the course. It's 234 yards long. There's a trap on the right front part and a trap on the left. I'm on the back of the green here at the 15th and way down below on the tee, Sam Sneed has the honor using a four wood. This green must be at least 30 or 40 feet up above the tee. Sneed is hooking it off to the left. It's going to land near the same trap. It does, jumps up toward the trap and then rolls back down in the rough just off to the left. Here's Bob Goldby setting a new course record at the Philadelphia Country Club. He is seven under par. He is off to the left. He's in trouble. He's going to land in the crowd. He hit uh, some youngster in the bottom of the foot. Got a good break there, bounced back toward the fairway. He's in the rough, short rough. 
his ball definitely would have been in the sand. He hit the youngster in the foot and jumps back down in the rough. Sneed up in the rough 27 feet away and Bob Goldby 50 feet away in the rough. Here's Bob preparing to play his second shot. He's seven under par. Has a pretty good lie. I believe he has enough green to pitch it to the clip portion. He's up above the ball. He's very good on this shot. It's a great touch. Chips a chart. Ooh. I bragged on him a little soon. He chipped it way short. Left it at least 15 feet short of the hole. Now Sam Sneed is up above, and he is down in the grass pretty heavy there. He's using his pitching wedge. He lands it about right. It's running fast and down the hill, and Sam is way out. With me here is uh, Helen Siegel, one of America's finest lady golfers. You enjoying this match? Oh, it's terrific. Making our course look awfully easy. <laughs> Sam has a long uphill putt, about 20 feet. He hits it up toward the hole. It's swinging off to the right. It took the break and pass. But Sam's talking to himself. He's not enjoying that at all. And he makes a bogey. Colby has about a 15 or 18 foot putt. Sort of a double break. It looked like it might break a little to the left and swing back. That's a good putt. Oh, gosh, fine putt there. Just a little firm, and Bob ran past about 18 inches. He's going to putt it. He got it. Scores through the 15th hole. Sam Sneed, 59. Bob Goldby, 53. And thank you, Helen Siegel Wilson. Thank you, Jimmy. On the 389-yard par four 16th hole, Sneed drove down the middle 270 yards. Goldby also drove down the middle 265 yards. Goldby used a nine iron and stopped short of the pin 12 feet away. Sneed also used a nine iron and stopped 30 feet short of the flag. Sneed made his putt for birdie three in a total of 62 strokes. Then Goldby two putted, got his par and 57 strokes. And then on the par four, 453 yards, 17th hole, Sneed hit a blistering drive, 280 yards down the fairway, slightly to the left. Then Goldby topped it with a long 290 down the middle. Sam has a long second shot into this hole using a two iron. It's right here that Byron Nelson holed out a two iron shot in the second playoff with Craig Wood to win the 1939 U.S. Open. Has a fine shot. It's going right straight at the flag. A beautiful shot. Right straight at the pin. Lands and doesn't move. That ball stopped very fast for that two iron. Right on line. Bob Goldby. Hit a big drive here. It ran down the hill. He's right in the center. He's going to use a five iron for a second shot, standing up above his ball. He's leading Sam five strokes. Six under par. It's going to be short. It's going to land on the very front part of the green. And he has a long approach putt. He's on the front of this large 17th green and Sneed about halfway up. Sam Sneed's Second shot here on the 17th hole, below the pin, about 30 feet. Colby, 55 feet away on the same line. Top Colby, his long approach putt uphill. Six under par. Takes a couple of uh, practice strokes. Third one, now he's over the ball. It's a good and firm up toward the cup. It's a beautiful cut. It's breaking toward the cup, and look at it go. After that thing passed, it really took off. Colby had a hot putting streak going there. The first 13 holes, he had only had 11 putts. Here's Sam Sneed putting for a birdie. Sam's going to be very good. That's a beautiful putt. It's a good one. Sam 
had a long 30-footer and just went over the left side of the cup, and the ball actually stopped on the right side. Made his short putt for a par four. Bob has a seven-foot putt, breaking back to the left. He makes this par as the last hole. He sets a new course record. Yes. Oh. Yes. Boy, that thing hung there. Wow. <laughs> it took a little while, but it fell in. He got his par. <laughs> Through 17 holes, it's Sneed 66, Golby 61. Number 18 is a dog leg to the right, 387 yards. There's a trap on the right, small pine trees sprinkled through the rough, trees on the left. This is the final hole of our match between Sam Sneed and Bob Golby. Sneed has the honor. Oh, he hit a beauty. Old slammer has shades of 35. He really cooled that one. Right down the center of the fairway. Here's Bob Goldby, needs a four here to set a new competitive course record, which has stood up for 23 years. And he is uh, just about right. It's going to land out in the edge of the fairway. That's a fine drive, big long drive by both Sneed and Goldby. Sam drove it down the center, 255. Goldby almost the same line, just a little to his right, 260. Sneed's using a nine iron for his second shot here on the 18th hole. And the pin is on the right side. This is the largest green on the course. A big green, Sam throws it up to the right. It's just about right. It's carrying a little bit too far. It may go into the crowd. Off to the right it does. It lands into the crowd, jumps over the gallery's head and runs down the embankment, way over the green. Be, uh, Goldby uh, saw Sneed Hit a little strong. He's using a pitching wedge for his second shot. He nips it about right. It's coming up toward the flag. It's looking a little. It's going to land just over the flag. And backs down the hill. Coming top Golby and back of the pin. Sneed way over the green. Golby's second shot carried just over the flag. He has 11 foot downhill putt for birdie three. Sneed overshot the green. He's down in the rough 70 feet from the flag. Golby's going to mark his ball. Sneed has a much tougher shot right now than he had uh, on his second. Sam has got to pitch over the rough on a downhill hogback part of the green. No chance to get this close, I'm sure. He hits it in the rough. It's running on down. It's still running. It'll be way past the pin. That's about all Sam could do is take a chance on uh, deadening the shot when it hit the rough. But it hit the down slope, and he has a good 25 or 30 foot putt for his par four. Large gallery here around the 18th hole at the Philadelphia Country Club. For an old boy, he's really got some eyes. He sees everything. Sam is ready. Short. Short all the way. Seemed to yip that just a little before he made contact with the blade. It's, uh, Thought I wanted to move, but his wrist wouldn't let it. He made his bogey, bogey five. Colby <laughs> has a downhill breaking putt to the right for birdie three. This will give him a 64. About ready to putt, putting for a three. A very open stance. He toes that left foot way out, semi-profile, like he's playing a short chip shot. He hits it off to the right. It has no chance to hold up, but he is just below it. Has a short putt here for the record. Bob got it. Sam Sneed. Sneed goes over to congratulate uh, Bob Goldby on that record-breaking score. Very fine golf by both players, and the scores were Sam Sneed, even par 71, and to set a new course record here at the Philadelphia Country Club, Bob Goldby with a six under par 65. Well, uh, Sam, I thought you played uh, pretty good out there, but you ran into a hot Jesse, didn't you? 
Well, Jim, I saw everything out there today but the hole in one, and that almost happened, too. Uh, he had that uh, birdie stick rolling, didn't he? Well, I think there are only two things in golf, and that's driving and putting, and he did both of them quite well. Well, he certainly did, Sam. We certainly enjoyed having you back on All-Star Golf, and we're looking forward to seeing you down at Boca Raton this well, winter. Jim, I'd like to get on the right side of you there for a change. Uh, can you fix that up for me the next time? <laughs> okay, Sam. Uh, Sam, here's your check for $1,000. You didn't come up empty. I know you love oh, that thanks, money. Thanks, Jim. I always enjoy playing on All-Star Golf and seeing you. Fine. That's very nice. Look forward you, to seeing you. The best of luck to you in your future Same term. to you. You're doing a wonderful job. Bye now. Congratulations, Bob, on that fine record-breaking 65. And uh, what do you think of this course? Well, uh, I've enjoyed this course very much, which you can probably tell by my score. Usually you uh, rate a course according to the way you play it, and, of course, I played it well today, so uh, I enjoyed the course, and I like the course. Well, you certainly did play well, Bob. And here's your check for $2,000, the winner's share, and uh, $4,000 for the triple birdie bonus. You robbed the jackpot today. Well, I'll take Those three that. birdies in a row. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Bye, Bob. I certainly enjoyed playing on All-Star Golf and seeing you and enjoyed playing Sam. Fine. Goodbye, Thank Bob. Thank you very much. Bob Goldie, this is Jimmy DeMerritt inviting you to tune in next week for All-Star Golf.